Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. After talk, let's get straight to it. Rare Breed Entertainment, salute to Rare Breed, ARP, Shata, Lawrence, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. After talk, let's get straight to it. The new pop-out series. It's going down. They're releasing the first joint. Um, the first, the battles are streaming, live stream VOD coming out. It looks like this Saturday. Uh, the battles that they had go down was Ill Will versus Reed Dollars, Big K versus J Mills, Chef Trez versus J Murder, Rosenberg Raw versus Cicero, Big Cannon versus Gwitty. They had a couple of uh, 1SK type joints on there too. Uh, I do like the look of it. I'm not going to hold you. Uh, you got Ill Will versus Reed Dollars. For Reed Dollars, it says a lot for him as far as his imprint, being able to move around and do what he want to do. But the main event, hold up, hold up. The main event was supposed to be Arsenal versus Jag. Now, Arsenal versus Jag was supposed to happen not too long after Jag battled Ill Will. Jag got bodied so crazy versus ill will that the battle didn't make sense like it didn't make sense like there was no way that a arp i'm a, i'm addressing you in this joint you my man i rock with what your movement is etc etc but i got to you know i got to it wouldn't be me if i ain't do it like i do it he got smoked so bad that it made no sense you could not put him on a card in front of arsenal as a main event and people would have been going crazy the energy would have been wild out here your man got he got done he got done done did it so bad that if it was to ever happen it would have happened like this like you know a uh, surprise type battle you know what i'm saying like it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been no clean work is all i'm saying there's no way you would have been able to put that out and i respect the fact that it would have been a surprise. Um, and you know what happened? I seen Surf tweet earlier this weekend, like Midnight Madness was the first people to have surprise. Stop, stop, stop. You're not the first person to have no surprise battles or no private events. And that, no, no, you're not the first, you're not the second, you're not the fifth. It's been happening for years and years and years and years from the Blackout series. Shoot, volumes used to be uh, exclusive events. And it was mad other events that was exclusive. It sounds good, but it didn't happen. Not by you. Try again. Um, so ARP, he, uh, they throw this event, and I seen an interesting post by Let's Talk Battle Rap that says, Arsenal and Jag is never going to happen because I said so, and because Arsenal said so. I'm going to read, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to rewind fine, it's mortifying. I did not watch the whole interview, but I got that, that much that I got tells me that either Jag missed the battle or he had a reason for missing it that they didn't seem feasible. You know what I'm saying? Like, I heard what I heard. I heard from people who was there what his reasoning was. I ain't finna put it out there, but I don't know if they believe what he said. Let's just rewind, find more to find. Arsenal was probably prepared for the battle. If it would have been announced, based off of Jag's last performance, I would have picked Arsenal to win the battle anyway. But when ARP says something like it's never gonna happen because I said so and because Arsenal said so, this is a battle that was booked. This is the battle that Deposits was sent out for, that artists were supposed to battle. So it was going to happen. The fact that it didn't says more to me than it does not. It's basically ARP. When he does, because ARP is very calculated. He's very strategic. He's been doing this for a long time. He's got files on everything, everyone. And when he has to break someone down like he did Sirius Jones or like he's done a hundred other times with a hundred other people, he's ready for war. He's like, who's ready for war? I'm ready for war. I got machetes and swords for any. I get that said he was raw. Like he, 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 he has the ammunition to go to war with anybody. So with that being said, the Jag battle not happening says more about Jag than it says about ARP because ARP's a straight businessman. He's a straight shooter, he do straight business. You never really, you, I've never heard anybody say ARP, Rare Breed did bad at business. I didn't get paid, I didn't, you know, my flight wasn't on. I never heard nothing like that. So I know they're straight shooters, but Jag not battling Arsenal says more about it than it doesn't. I didn't know, I'm glad that they said 
when they put the uh, straight to it flyer out, they did announce that the battle did not happen. They got a line through it saying it did. They didn't try to do us with the Flames James. They ain't try to do LeBron Flames James, gas us like Arsenal versus Ill Will was going to, I mean, Arsenal versus Jag was going to be on the card. Then the VOD comes out and it's not there. So I respect them because Mad Leagues ain't going to say that. They know the battle's not happening, but they'll still have you watch the joint cop, the VOD. Nasty work. Super nasty work. Uh, Ill Will versus Reed Dollars. Very interesting battle. It shows that Reed Dollars has the strength and ability to go where he want and to do what he want. A lot of battle rappers can't do that. When they start talking about battling on other leagues and things like that, you know, that other league be like, uh, 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 no, 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 sir. So for Reed to be able to make moves like that, uh, that, that bodes well for him. You know, I always believe battle rappers should battle wherever they want, do whatever you want, battle wherever you want. Like, you only as hot as your last battle. You get smoked, you're going to see how many people want to book you and how many people care about you after that. That's just my personal opinion. Big K versus J Mills. Uh, it's like mad random, you know what I'm saying? Like, J Mills and his last performance was nasty work. Uh, pretty much all his performances have not been good. I'm sorry, it is what it is. Big K do what he do. I don't really rock with him. He don't really rock with me, but you know what I'm saying? It's a new year. I ain't got no beef with these. I don't even be seeing these niggas. I ain't got no beef with these niggas. It is what it is. But, you know, more more success for him. Hopefully he does what he do. You know what I'm saying? That's just, it is what it is. I would have him beating J Mills 3-0. You know what I'm saying? And this is for somebody who allegedly hates him. I don't really hate the dude, but it is what it is. Um, I would have him beating J Mills 3-0. J Mills is, uh, since he's came back, he has not shown me personally anything that would have me believe that uh, he, he could do it at this level. I'm sorry. Like, back in the days, him versus Murder Mook, cool. But we living off of our uh, off of our Al Bundy Polk High School highlights, if that's the case. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, your, your three-touchdown game, it, it's not the same. If he stood in front of him, he probably got smoked. I'm not going to lie. Um, but, that yeah, that, that's, that's just that. Uh, Jay Murder versus Chef Trez, I like that. Rosenberg Raw versus Cicero, like that too. Big Cannon versus Gwitty. I heard that was a judge battle too, so that might be kind of ill. Um, definitely, after talk, get straight to it. But man, I'm going back to this main event not happening. Arsenal versus Jag. What happened? ARP is mad calculated, B. He's mad calculated. So, there's going to probably be some more to that. He don't just put, he drop breadcrumbs, you know what I'm saying? He'll drop a couple breadcrumbs, do a little interview, get the streets riled up. People start thinking and talking and things like that. And then he'll come with a bomb. Doom. You know how he do with the footage and shit like that. But Jag, I, I don't know. Like I say, it's just speculation, Jason. I, I don't think that Arsenal would have been a good battle for you anyway. Um, especially after the uh, Ill Will joint. Like you found your, you had a couple joints where you got busy. You found your stride versus O-Red, and then you took, like, such a serious step back versus um, Ill Will that I don't know. Like, I just, I don't, like, Ill Will sent you to the friendly skies. I didn't even know you were still of this earth, my boy. And I rock with Jack, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie. I do, I've spoke to him a couple times, but speaking to you, no matter who you are, does not, does not expel the L. If you get smoked, it is what it is. I don't care. That's the reason why I kind of just do what I do and I don't really try to get too much involved with the artists because I'm like, once you say they got smoked, once you say they got killed, once you say, damn, son, what happened to you? They get emotional. Not saying that that's happened, what's what happened with Jag, but it happens at times. Like, yo, this is supposed to be my boy. Why is he blogging on me losing? Why is he blogging on me no showing? Why is he blogging on me? I ain't saying Jag did that, but artists, they'll get mad. Like, yo, why is I'll hear about an artist who no shows a battle. But they keep getting booked and they keep no showing. It's like, bro, if you hear somebody has bad credit streetwise, like got bad credit with work, why are you gonna front them? You fronting them and then you mad that you get jerked. Like, bro, are you crazy? Like, you deserve it after a while. Like, these people send me blogs, I mean, send me footage all the time of battle rappers said this person didn't show up to this event. This, I don't even blog on it no more. I don't, I don't even blog on it no more because I don't care. It's like, after a while, you keep booking people that don't show up, you must love giving away money. And that's just the way I see it. But when it comes to Jag, I definitely hope he can find his stride. Uh, he's never been on URL. I know they wanted him at one time. I, I know that. They did want Jag for like, you know that whole little run 
of like a shotgun shield battle, maybe or Arsenal. Like that whole little run right there, that whole little street vibe. And they only wanted him because he was on um, Rare Breed. Like they want, like if a nigga get hot on Rare Breed, they gonna come try to take him. It is what it is. The petty betty shit. Stay petty. You ain't gotta get ready. Um, but when he lost to Ill Will, it kind of made it like, oh, now nah, we good. We don't, we don't need that. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say you're only as good as your last battle when it comes to battle rap. So you should battle wherever you want just to make sure you win. Because once you don't win, your situation gets thin. That's kind of fire, too. That's kind of fire. But it's the truth. Once they don't rock with you, they don't rock with you. There's a couple league owners that'll still rock after you get smoked a couple times and shit. But for the most part, once you get bodied, them calls stop coming in. Uh, overall, let's get straight to it. After talk. Uh, Rare Breed Entertainment, you know what I'm saying? They 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 just had Reed Dollars versus Ill Will. I'm very interested in seeing how that battle went down, so I would definitely be checking that out. I told y'all I feel like Ill Will is one of the most dangerous forces in battle rap. I feel like Ill Will could get in there and battle anybody. The Hollows, the anybody's like Ill Will is one of them guys. Do I think that he's he's probably not gonna get the battles on he's not gonna get the battles on URL because he's like one of the main guys on RBE right now. So they're definitely they're not gonna it's just petty betty. You stay petty, you ain't got to get petty. Uh, so they're not going to book him, you know what I mean? Like, But I said, I feel like Ill Will deserves Hitman Holla at this point. If anybody deserves him, Ill Will does. He does. He's earned that right to get the biggest names on the biggest stage. He's held Red Breed down for a while, and he's still doing it. I got a lot of respect for Ill Will. Uh, I look forward to seeing this card. Gang,